I want to show you guys how you can set up a high score in Unity really, really quickly. You'll see on the top right I have this coin counter here, right? And on the top left I have a high score. And I can go ahead and pick up a few of these coins. And right now they're both updating. But the interesting with the high score is I can stop playing or I could even, you know, close the game down entirely. And the next time I play the game, our high score still is displaying here as 29. And now it won't update until I get a counter that's higher than that and it will update. Right, and you don't even need to have the high score dynamically update like I just showed. You can only have it when like you restart the game or play again or something. Anyway, it's really, really quick to set up. So let's go through and show you. Okay, so this is my sandbox project that I use all the time in Unity. You do not have to copy this. I'm just showing you for some context. But on my coin class here, I have this event called on coin collected, right? So this gets fired when I walk into a coin. But everything relevant to our tutorial here is going to be in this game manager class. I have an empty game manager in my scene. And here's the script. I basically have an integer that has a coin count. And then in these on enable and disable methods, we're subscribing that coin on coin collected method method to this handle coin pickup function. And the only thing this does is it increases the coin count and then tells our coin text to increment itself. And the coin text is literally just a reference to a text object and, you know, sets the text value to coins and the value. So that's all setup stuff. You don't have to do any of that, but that's what's kind of going on in my scene. And that's how we're getting coins in the top right to update. Anyway, so in our game manager, the most important thing here is restoring our coin count. Okay. So this is the primary thing we need to take a look at. So in your game, wherever you're increasing your score, in my case, it's coins here, right? But in your game, maybe you get points for killing enemies. That value needs to be captured somewhere. I think a game manager is a very popular place this is done. But right here, you'll see is where we're actually increasing our coin count. And so to update a high score is actually very simple. You see, there's something called player prefs in Unity. And player prefs, you can save a value. So I could say set integer, right? Because my coins are an integer. And I could say a high score and I could pass in my coin count. And so what this is going to do is it's going to make a file on my computer and it's going to save my coin count value. And what that means is that there's just going to be a file on my computer somewhere that's storing our high score. And this allows us to say player prefs dot get integer at high score. And then this is gonna pull that coin count value, right? The caveat here, this is only ever going to work on my computer. If I play the game on my computer and I set a high score, and then I download the game on my friend's computer and we play, that high score won't be carried over unless you can find a way to move the file over to your friend's computer, right? And so this is like a local thing. And so the limitation is it's you know only for the machine that's running the game. But the plus side to that is I could turn my computer off and turn it back on. And because it's in a file somewhere, this high score will always be preserved. So if we wanted to actually set the high score, for cleanness, I'm just gonna make a new private check high score method. And we'll call it right as we're updating our coin count. And in here, all we want to say is if our coin count is greater than our player prefs dot get integer of high score. So we're going to see if there is an existing high score. And if there is, it will return it. So at the end of that intro scene, you know, I set it to 48. So it'll see if our coin counts 49 or greater. And if it is, we'll go into this if block. Otherwise, we won't. But let's say our high score didn't exist yet, right? It's the first time we're playing the game. There's no value here. Then we want to add a comma and put in a zero because that's going to be our default value, right? The high score starts at zero if it's a brand new first time someone's playing the game. And then in the case that our coin count exceeds our high score, well, we just want to update it. So we can say player prefs dot set integer. If yours is a float or something, use that. And then high score is the text value. And we pass in our coin count. And so that's it. That's all we need to do to update our high score. Now, if we wanted to display the high score somewhere, you can right click in your Unity project or right click on your canvas if you already have one and go down to UI, text, text mesh pro. I'm gonna call this high score text. And then I'm just gonna position it somewhere at the top. This is irrelevant. Just put it wherever you want. That's up to you. With a little bit of basic styling, there's my high score text. And when I play the game right now, it's not gonna be updating or doing anything. So how do we get this to display? So at the top of my game manager, I'll add a using text mesh pro so we can access that text component. And I'll say serialize field text mesh pro UGUI, which is the text component. And I'll say high score text. Now on our game manager script, we can just click and drag our high score text game object into the variable and it will pull off that component. And then again, just for cleanness, I'll make one more function called update high score text and we'll set the high score text dot text equal to and then in a formatted string, I'm just going to say high score 
and then get our player prefs dot get integer of high score. And again, default it to zero in case there isn't a value stored on our file somewhere. Okay, and then you can just call update high score text wherever you want. It definitely makes sense to put it in our start function so that it happens at the beginning of the game. And then if you wanted your high score to update dynamically, like as soon as you beat your high score, right? Like during that playthrough, you could put it wherever you're updating your high score. This time I'll show you what that would be like. Okay, so our high score is clean at this point. I don't have a file saved and our coins is zero. I can go ahead and start collecting. I'm up to 26. I can stop playing. I could shut off my computer. I could do whatever, it's fine. It's now made a record on our computer somewhere and there's a key called high score with 26 as the coin count. And when we play the game again, because we're updating the text on start, you'll see high score is set to 26. And because we're not updating it dynamically, you'll see when we get over 26, you know, it's not updating. But the next time we actually play the game, then it gets updated to 48. So that's it. That's a very simple high score system. It's great for game jams. It's great for simple little games, great for arcade games. If you wanted this high score to be saved so that it's, you know, across all computers, then you'd have to store a file in the cloud somewhere or on a server where it can be pulled. And that's more advanced. But that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And I'm about to break the high score, so you guys need to subscribe. Please, come on. I, I have the high score. That'd be really cool if you did that. All right, bye. <laughs>